I uh, joined BP essentially because of my nursing background, although I was serving in the Army overseas at the time, and they had a requirement uh, whenever BP Pit Dev took over its installations to have medics on board. I went offshore late in the summer of 74, might have just been the beginning of the autumn. I was the first medic that they recruited and I was the first one actually to go offshore to 40s which was the destination that I was actually heading for. Medics were responsible obviously for the health and well-being of people on board but more important to pet dev, petroleum development at that time was actually getting control and regulating the population on board because we had three, four, five hundred people on board the installation at peak times during the day. We needed to know who they were, where they had come from, where they were staying, where they were located, and how we could possibly account for them should there be an emergency. BP wanted to have that kind of control, and the Department of Energy required BP to be on top of it. Well, I was a 40s man, and if you were in a place like the heliport talking with people from the whole industry, if you were a 40s man, you were a little bit different, and we enjoyed that, and we maybe exploited it. But it was also important because we were, apart from the tiny little Argyll field, we were the first to really bring the oil ashore and bring it to market. And that said something about BP, it had the ability, uh, it delivered, but it also said something about the UK. The UK had its own oil. It was bringing it ashore and it was taking it to market. It was able to use it. And that was important politically. I think had I gone in 10 years later, I would have lost something. There was something renew about, um, about the pioneering spirit of doing something that hadn't been done, that had risks, had a lot of unknown things, it was challenging. And of course, if you were, you were involved in Aberdeen, in the riggies, as they would call it, it was something of a new story and you were part of it. I still think of myself as a 40s man. I always will be. And it's stamped on my forehead.